I'm Carrie Pratt, the Assistant Curator here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Right now we're in Manatee Coast, and this morning we just introduced our four new manatees, Bartlett, Tippecanoe, Fraulein, and Hamilton, into the exhibit here. These four new animals came to us here at the zoo on April 6th as part of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife's Rehab and Rescue Program. So our four new manatees are here at the zoo because they suffered from various injuries that required them to be brought in from the wild. Three of our manatees suffered a condition called cold stress. Although manatees live in the wild, and you might think they have a very thick layer of blubber due to their size, they actually don't. Uh, manatees can't live in water under about 68 degrees, and they actually get a condition called cold stress, which is similar to hypothermia in people. Hamilton's a little bit of a different case. He was actually found as an orphan animal and has been injured by a boat. You can notice him by his three propeller cuts down the side of his body. So one of the most important things for our little guys to do while they're here at the zoo is to put on a lot of weight, which means a lot of lettuce for us here at the zoo. Normally we used to feed our two older manatees, Holly and Stubby, about 120 heads of lettuce a day. We are now up to feeding just under 500 heads of lettuce a day to support all six of our manatees. This morning we introduced our four new manatees to our, our longtime residents, Holly and Stubby, for the first time. The interaction is going very well. We've noticed Holly and Stubby um, are very interested in the new kids. They've been following them around the tank. And in fact, if you're a longtime visitor here at Manatee Coast, you may notice that Holly and Stubby are a lot more active these days with some little kids to chase around the tank. So we're really excited to have our new residents here at Manatee Coast, and we hope everyone gets the opportunity to come down and see them.